Though society has made leaps and bounds in achieving equal rights for people who identify as being LGBT, there are still some people who are afraid to come out of the closet. I know this because I was one. Now imagine being much older and having to access long-term care, facility care. <laughs> Suddenly, you're surrounded by people, staff, and residents who may have very different views of what it means to be queer. And who can blame them? For many, challenging their views of sexuality means challenging their religious faith. Though there's been very little research done on the topic in Canada, there has been done, some done in the United States. And based on that research, we do know that people who go into long-term care who identify as being LGBT are fearful of discrimination and therefore go back in the closet upon entering long-term care. This prevents them from being able to access the services and care they need, which is a cruel irony given where they now live. So I decided to see if it was the same for Canadians. I interviewed six residents of long, or six individuals, two residents of long-term care who identified as being gay, two gay activists, and two long-term care facility workers. Though none of them had witnessed or been the victim of discrimination based on sexual orientation, they all agreed that there was a fear that was prevalent. This prevented both residents from being out within the care facility and accessing the care they needed. One resident in particular who needed to rely on caregivers to do everything from helping her eat, to helping her use the washroom, to helping her brush her teeth, said that she was a private person before entering long-term care, and upon entering, it intensified. She said her body spoke. So, what do we do? At first, I thought a great idea would be to create a long-term care facility specifically for LGBT people. But I quickly realized that was more of a band-aid than a cure. What we really need is to provide training for both staff and residents of long-term care facilities to create empathy for this group of people. They need to understand that that aspect of their identity is something that is beautiful, not something to be shamed. After all, these people have lived the majority of their lives fighting for their right to live out and freely, and they deserve to do that no matter where they call home. 